Hi everyone, this is lesson number seven on probability. And in this lecture, we learn about law of total probability. Okay, I'm going to start with an example. Suppose you are a football fan and you have a team that you really, really support. Okay? The team could be playing at home or it could be playing away. What do I mean by a team playing at home? That means the team is playing in their own stadium, in their own city, maybe. And often when that happens, they are more likely to win. Okay? So let's say the probability that a team plays at home, let's say they play 60% of their games at home, and maybe 40% of their games away. Okay? So H, the event H, is the event of playing at home. And the complement of playing at home is playing away. I'm going to use probability tree here. So on this branch, I'm going to write 0.6, which is the probability of playing at home, 0.6. And on this branch, the probability of playing away, H complement, which is 0.4. When a team plays at home, they could win the game. So they, that would mean they won and they played at home or they might lose the game. So they lose and they played at home. Even when they play away, they could probably win it. They win and played away. Or they could lose the game. Lose and played away. Now on this branch of the tree goes my conditional probability of winning, the probability of winning, given that the team played at home, given they played at home. So this is the probability of winning, given they played at home. On this branch, to the probability of losing, I'm going to call it W complement, because losing is the complement of winning, given they played at home. So let's say the probability of winning given at home is 75%. So immediately you realize that the probability of losing given they played at home is 25%. On this branch here, I would write the probability of winning given that the team played away. Away is H complement. And on this branch, I would then have the probability of winning, I'm sorry, the probability of losing W complement, given that they played away, H complement. Okay, suppose also that the probability of winning, given that the team played away, is equal to 45%. Now the question I want to ask here is, how do you find the probability of winning? And that is exactly what the law of total probability answers. So winning could be achieved at home, or a win could come when the game is played away. Let me give you the formula now, and then I explain how the formula comes about. So the probability of winning is actually equal to if I play at home or if the team plays at home, then they win with a probability of P of W given H. Okay. If they play at home, they win with that probability. That's how you could get to a win. That's one way to get to a win. The other way to get to a win is you play away and then win. So I have plus, if they played away, H complement, the probability of winning is winning given H complement. So this is actually the simplest form of the law of total probability. Let me show how this formula came about. I'm going to draw a Venn diagram, which replicates the situation I have here. Okay, let's say that's the sample space. The sample space can be partitioned into 
either playing at home or playing away edge complement. Let's say I have that event, the event of winning. Let's say that's event w winning. So I want to calculate the probability of that event. And that could happen either in this region, winning if you're playing at home, or let me use a different color, winning when you are playing away. So that region is winning intersection H complement. And that one in red is winning intersection playing at home. So the event winning, event winning, is the union of those two shaded regions. The union of winning intersection H and winning intersection H complement. The probability of winning is the probability of that event. What you realize here is that event shaded in blue and that event in red are actually disjoint. They are mutually exclusive. So when you have two mutually exclusive events and you want to calculate the probability of the union, you can get that by adding the probabilities. So the probability of winning would be equal to the probability of winning intersection H plus the probability of winning intersection H complement. Lesson number five. We learned about the multiplication law of probability. And we said the probability of W intersection H is the probability of H times the probability of W given H. Likewise, the probability of winning intersection H complement is equal to the probability of H complement times the probability of W given H complement. And that gives me my answer. So what I do now is plug in my numbers. I know the probability of H is 60%, 0 0.6. The probability of W given H is given 75%, 0 0.75 plus the probability of H complement is 0 0.40 times the probability of winning given away as 0.45 and you get 0 0.63 so in general if you have two events A and B then the law of total probability says the probability of B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given A plus the probability of A complement times the probability of B given A complement. Let's extend that to a situation where we have, let's say, three partitions of the sample space. Let's say partition 1 is A1, A2. A3, and the sample space is simply the union of those partitions. And also, you have event B in your sample space, so that's event B. What you want to do is to calculate the probability of B. And the probability of B is equal to the probability of A1 intersection B. Let me write it A1 intersection B plus also you have the intersection of A2 and B plus A2 intersection B plus the probability of A3 intersection B. That region's A3 intersection B. Probability of A3 intersection B. And then you again apply the multiplication law of probability to find the intersection of A1 and B as a probability equal to P of A1 times P of B given A1 and that is equal to P of A2 times P of B given A2 and that is equal to P of A3 times P of B given A3 
notice here that you are simply multiplying the conditional probabilities given the partitions by the probability of the partition. 